I am an internal and integrative medicine doctor and I am here to talk to you today about magnesium. My goal is to give you what I think are the really important aspects uh, of care when it comes to magnesium in your health. I want to make this real easy and simple for you. Uh, magnesium is becoming a very important topic and it's related to many of our chronic conditions so it's important to understand what it does in our body where it's supposed to come from in our natural environment and then if you think you need more I want to give you some tools on how to pick an, a supplement that works well for your symptoms and your body. To start from a larger a larger point of view, the nutrients that we need on a day-to-day -day basis are the macronutrients, the things that we measure in large quantities, the things that fill us up on a day-to-day -day basis. These are our building blocks. Our macronutrients are proteins, fats, and carbs, and they keep us going, and they give us the building blocks to do what we need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, micronutrients are nutrients that we also need to do uh, our day-to-day -day processes, but they are ingested in micronutrient amounts, so much smaller amount, and uh, they're also present in much lower quantities in our natural environment. Magnesium is really uh, m maybe one of the most important of the micronutrients. So magnesium comes from uh, vegetables and foods that grow out of the ground, uh, nuts, legumes, seeds, leafy vegetables. It's not so much of a, of a nutrient that we're going to get from our animals and dairy and, and cheeses and things like that and fish. It's really the things that soak up our earth that contain magnesium. Most of the magnesium within your body is contained within the bones. Um, that's absolutely its number one home in the body. Um, and it creates awesome rock-like structure in the bones. So anybody who is concerned about their bone health um, should be thinking about uh, their supply of magnesium and their, their magnesium status. Uh, so that's the first thing it does, but it has ability to do other things other than structural. Magnesium is intricately involved when we talk about our nerves communicating. It is involved in the ion exchange channels that uh, propagate a nerve signal. It is involved in opening and closing channels that tell us whether to be on or off. Magnesium helps us to turn on or off the production of hormones to turn on or off our metabolism. Magnesium helps us shut off of the chemicals for the day so that we can descend into sleep. Magnesium is a very common intervention for people who are not sleeping well um, or can't come down into that relaxing state of sleep. It does a similar effect for our heart cells, it tells our vessels when they're done pumping and need to now relax. So magnesium is well known uh, as a blood pressure intervention. So that begs the question of how do you know when you're magnesium deficient? Some of the mo most common early signs of magnesium deficiency are the muscles and nerves not getting that signal. So one of the earliest signs of magnesium deficiency is when people are starting to experience hypersensitive muscle cramping. Difficulty recovering from a workout, muscles really kind of getting extra sore nerves that are becoming hypersensitive. And, and I mean both physical nerve sensitivity and also emotional nerve sensitivity. Um, so that can snowball into having a high blood pressure, hormonal imbalance, difficulty falling into uh, sleep patterns. Um, and ultimately your body will try and borrow that magnesium from your bones, so osteoporosis. Now we have to ask ourselves, uh, how, do, how can we get extra magnesium? So let's say you do identify yourself as somebody who probably has low magnesium. You get muscle cramps, you don't, you don't sleep well, you feel that your system is a little extra hypersensitive and whether that means it is um, emotionally labile or even allergically hypersensitive or your metabolism is very sensitive. These are all processes that involve magnesium and you decide, I want to look into this. I want to know if, my mag if I'm not getting enough magnesium for my body. Uh, well, there's good news and bad news. The, the bad news is it's really hard to test for. Um, some of your doctors may have offered you a blood test for magnesium. The problem is, as we said before, that's not where magnesium lives. Magnesium lives in the bones, inside the cells. So you can't really tell with a blood test uh, whether or not you have enough magnesium. For the most part, knowing if you need more magnesium is 
about experimenting with getting more magnesium in your diet and possibly a supplement and then seeing if those symptoms improve. It's quite safe to do. Magnesium has a high a threshold for safety. If you think your magnesium is low, just try and get more magnesium in your diet. See if your symptoms start to get better. A recommended dose for daily intake of magnesium is between three and 400 milligrams of magnesium. That would be um, most easily gotten through half, about a half a handful of nuts. Um, wheat germ, if you add wheat germ to your oatmeal, uh, about a quarter cup. So you can get it through food quite easily. As I mentioned, you wanna focus on nuts, seeds, legumes, and vegetables, and less on your dairy and meat products for this. Now, if you decide to reach for a supplement because it's hard to get it through food, you wanna aim for about the same total amount of magnesium, 300 to 400 a day is enough to even replete a magnesium deficient person and show you some improvement in your symptoms. And what you'll wanna focus on in picking out that supplement is really what is that magnesium bound to? There are some forms of magnesium that are designed not to be absorbed. They are laxatives, uh, magnesium chloride, magnesium oxide, magnesium hydroxide, and magnesium sulfate. So those are ones that you would wanna reserve as a laxative or as a cream because they can be absorbed externally as well. Uh, but if you want an oral supplement that's designed to get your tissues more magnesium, you'll want to choose something that has a different name attached to it. Magnesium chelate, magnesium glycinate, magnesium threonate, magnesium citrate, magnesium malate, uh, and magnesium taurate. And so if you need help with this, uh, absolutely talk to your healthcare provider about this. They can help you sort through this and try and choose a supplement that is most likely to produce a result. And as any supplement, within a few months, if you're not seeing a benefit, it's probably not the medicine that your body is asking for.